Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Son of a Mountain. Thank you all so much for tuning in today. Uh, it's, it has been a long time since I've done a video. Um, that's because I was in the transition of getting a new vehicle. As you see here, I no longer uh, own the Toyota Yaris Camper. If for those of you who are familiar with the channel, you know that for about three to three and a half years, I've used to have a Toyota Yaris and I had um, modified that vehicle into a micro camper. I have many videos about it. If you haven't seen it, if you're interested, I'll leave a link below. Um, but it was time for a new vehicle. I needed an all-wheel drive vehicle. So I came across the Honda Cross Tour. Uh, and that's what you see here before you, the 2011 Honda Cross Tour. It is the all-wheel drive version. Um, keep in mind, the stock tires and stock rims, those are things that I'm going to change in the future. Um, uh, and I might even add an inch or two lift to this vehicle. Okay, so right outside here, you can already tell I have a solar panel here, which is charging my uh, solar generator inside. This is the 60 watt. Uh, this is a 60 watt solar panel made by Rock Pals. And I currently have it charging my EcoFlow um, solar generator. Currently, I'm getting 38 watts of power. Uh, this uh, this uh, solar generator originally came as only a 600 watt battery, which was like this top portion. But they do give you the option of adding an extra battery. So uh this went from 600 watts to after i added the battery now it's a 1200 watt battery which is great you know uh it keeps my my little fridge back here which only takes uh 40 watts of power by the way um it keeps my fridge running uh the entire time i'm out camping I do have to find a better place for it, a better place. Like I said earlier, there's a lot of things I still have to modify, especially in the inside. I'm gonna remove the seats to have some more space in here. Uh, and that's gonna open up a lot of room to place things where I wanted to place them. I also have uh, back there somewhere uh, an extra solar uh, generator uh, also rock pels that one's only a 250 watt uh, battery but I do have it there as an extra uh, precaution uh, just in case I need more power I have a lot of things to charge <laughs> cameras I have my one wheel back there we'll, we'll, we'll get around there and I'll show you the other side so that's my power source basically uh, those between those two batteries and I charge them with my 60 watt solar panel okay let's uh, see what else bring around here to the back um, I have obviously my chair my little kitchen for now I just made some coffee so around the back here, it's my bed. Um, <clears throat> these seats fold down flat completely, the back seats. So I didn't find, um, you know, a reason to remove the back seats just yet. I might do it in the future. I don't know yet. The front seat, I'm definitely, the, the front passenger seat, I'm definitely going to remove to open up some room here. 
and then maybe make my bed on this side and then open up all this side for storage uh, that's still in the works um, but anyway these seats fold down completely flat <clears throat> which was super useful and I was able to fit my bed which is a four inch uh, trifold mattress underneath that I have my uh, thermo rest uh, Z light for uh, some insulation and then on the bottom here I added um, a rug that's um, waterproof and then underneath that <clears throat> I have another layer of insulation and underneath here there's like this huge storage compartment and for these cars <clears throat> huge and down there I keep all my recovery gear like recovery boards um, my air pump uh, snow chain uh, shovel um, and um, <clears throat> things to fix the a flat tire or something like that if necessary uh, it's pretty cozy pretty warm I um, I took my uh, lumen noodle light and I hooked it up all around here and um, I hook it up to just a small power bank and you probably can't see it because it's pretty bright out um, and you can switch the colors you know and at night it's it's actually pretty cool it's, it's very very useful um, so most of the stuff <clears throat> that you guys see in here if not <clears throat> man 99% of everything that's in here is stuff that I took out of my other camper and try to see if it would work in here and, and it did for the most part um, except for the window shades um, so I had these custom made this one here and the front windshield uh, made by a company called um, uh, Heat Shield. Okay, these guys, you go on their website and they make custom um, windshield uh, covers like this for any vehicle. So you go on their website, you enter what kind of vehicle you own and they design it and you know they mail it out to you it's a little bit it's on the expensive side so um i only bought the um rear windshield because it's such a huge um windshield and then the front windshield as well and because they're 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 expensive so and then i had the side windows i made these actually this was left over from my toyota garris the the windows there were so huge um that i was able to um cut these up for the side windows on both sides on both sides of the car and that's been working out terrific even the tiny windows here uh, what I like about this um, heat shield um, uh, it, it does exactly that it blocks out a lot of the heat you know and uh, on one side is black like this and on the other side is uh, like a gold um, like a gold color see heat shield 
and um, so you have the option if you know if you want to uh, flip it over and to the to the black side of it and have some you know warm up your car or if you want to keep the car cool you turn the the gold side to the to the outside obviously to reflect the heat away from you and, and that's been working out great it comes with like these little suction cups you know and it's pretty good oh and they even um what i thought was really cool is that on their website it didn't say anything about these little side window this little window here there's a little window right here a little uh glass portion that did not specify on the website i was kind of worried that they wouldn't send this out because they only talked about this one but sure enough they sent this one out too uh and i was super happy about that so that was a that was a bonus that was not included in uh, what they charged me so that just showed up i was super happy about that and these work great i highly recommend it but they are pricey uh but totally worth it i think eventually i'm gonna end up doing the side ones buying for the side ones too okay um what else on these uh uh bags here i keep clothing uh you know and blankets jackets things like that and keep some water over here tissue baby wipes um over here on the side okay and then let's move on to the back here this is where i keep my uh my fridge this is the alpaco c12 um it's a very nice fridge uh it's a, it's a it's a real fridge you know it keeps everything nice and cool uh nice and cold for me so this is where i have it currently placed until i you know modify the inside here i want to remove this seat uh, and have all that extra space there okay so right now i have a set for 20 degrees and got some beer some some food some sodas in there so this section is basically where i keep like all my kitchen and, and food stuff over here i have dry foods uh in the blue bag is all my my kitchenware here's my my frying pan uh i know it looks like like it's big cluster of a mess <laughs> but everything has its place and it is a mess i mean it's a it's a car you know um uh, so bear with me okay might be wondering what the hell is this it's um so as same thing as with my previous car i don't want to come out to places this desolate and far away from home and any kind of service really without a full-size spare tire um if you're doing these kind of things I highly recommend that you get a full-size spare. Don't depend on those little dingy spare donuts that come with the vehicles because um, because they're just not going to do it, you know? There's just not enough. So now, currently, I do have this full-size spare tire behind the passenger seat, and also the one that that came with the vehicle that's located under the vehicle so i guess technically you could say that i have two spare tires which is not a bad thing um and i'm not worried about the weight you know i think it's worth its weight catch a flat out here you don't want to limp all the way home 
with uh, a dingy donut, you know? So I have this here now. Another modification I want to do is I want to bring this out of the vehicle altogether. I thought about a roof basket, but those things are just like giant wind sails. And, uh, you know, it really um, takes away from the vehicle's performance. Uh, it's aerodynamics and effect, it affects the gas mileage as well. So I'm trying not to add anything big to the roof unless I absolutely have to. So my other option was to add a hitch here and, and with the swing out arm um, tire mount that, can, that you can put right on the hitch. I've seen uh, other cars like this one that have the swing out tire mount that goes right back here. So that's going to be another thing in the future that I'm doing. I'm going to add a hitch and take that full size spare and just put it out here. And that's also going to open up a lot of room in here, you know, so that's in the works. Uh, I do have my trusty fan. Uh, bought this on Amazon for like $25 and guys, this is the best fan I own. I own quite a few. The battery on this thing lasts for three days and I have it on all night. Uh, I don't know what kind of batteries in here, but dang, this thing really kicks and uh, keeps me cool. I, I crack down the windows at night and I uh, have this thing running literally all night into the morning and it works great. Uh, if you're looking for one or you're interested, look it up in Amazon. I'll try to see if I can find the link for that. Or if, if anything, if you're interested in it, leave me a comment. And let me know. Okay, over here I have um, uh, my hammock. Uh, my emergency Mylar blanket. And all my hammock gear. Um, I take this stuff everywhere. Depending on, you know. I, I don't know where I'm going to end up sometimes. If I have trees around i'll set up my hammock i do have um a tarp in there too to you know for some shade uh so yeah that is always handy to have nice comfortable hammock uh, <clears throat> moving on to the front here uh if you guys again if you're familiar with the channel you know that I am a avid one wheel rider and this is my one wheel. I love the shit out of this thing. This thing goes with me everywhere. It has I've I've ridden down mountains with this thing all over the city. It's super convenient, you know. I get to a campsite and if I want to look around or ride or have fun. I just hop on my one wheel and go wherever I want. Um, I added the, I added a, a, an external battery to the already existing battery that's in here. And um, I currently, uh, depending of course on the terrain, uh, I get about 20 miles range. On, with this thing which is freaking amazing you know if I have an emergency a car breaks down or something like that uh, I can always take this and just ride and I take my extra battery and I put it in my backpack and I can uh, recharge this one wheel with this battery or with this battery so it's pretty convenient to have, so I take it with me everywhere, even if I don't use it. I, I changed the tires on it too, 
I put a, a threaded tires, <laughs> which was a complete pain to do. That's for another video. But I do have a lot of videos um, about the one wheel and one wheel rides. Uh, okay, on the seat itself, it looks crazy, right? But everything is um, locked in and and it's not going anywhere. So what I did is I took, you know, carabiners and I wrapped it around the, the headrest here. So I can put like all the extra little knickknack stuff that I have. Um, I have my uh, my camera bag, my Canon. Um, uh, this is where I keep my my um, my action cameras in here. Uh, sunglasses. And uh, in here I keep uh, a camera like gear like tiny tripods uh, selfie stick um, and in here I keep all my charging cables uh, this bag is for my big tripod this right here is a um, a power pack um, for a jumper uh, to uh, jump start jump starter pack jeez i can't talk uh this is a jump starter pack so you know if you get stranded and your battery dies or if somebody else needs a, a jump you don't need to carry um you know jumper cables you literally have battery in here with tiny jumper cables that you can use to start up your car and it works terrific with the yaris uh, I had to use this thing about five times uh, towards the end, especially when when my um, my my uh, my alternator started going out, and then the battery, you know. So I use this quite a few times. It has literally saved me um, about five times, you know, in in like desolate places like this. So. Again, even if you don't go camping, I highly recommend having a um, jump starter power pack. These things are super handy. Over here, I got my my sling bag that I carry with me. Um, my headlamp, a hat, and then... Um, yeah, that's uh, pretty much all the stuff here in the front. And then on this side here, I keep um, packed away um, a tiny um, wood stove, foldable wood stove. I have a fire starter kit uh, by Pyro putty, putty guys, this stuff works insanely good. Um, this is the winter blend. They do have like I think three other blends, but this one here, you, you can you can light this even when it's wet, which is amazing. Um, and here I have my flint and steel kit. I do love starting a fire with with flint and steel so even though it's not necessary it's still fun to practice uh and okay that's that and um up top here i guess last but not least um super useful this is a cell phone booster so it's made by a company called we boost and it works it works guys if even if you have just one bar actually all you need is one bar it takes that one bar and turns it into three or four bars and if you have two bars it turns it into five and so on um i use verizon uh and for 
for the Verizon network, it works terrific. And, you know, even in places where sometimes, oddly enough, I had zero bars, this thing managed to, you know, give me at least one or two bars where I can send out a message or even uh, make a phone call. Um, it works terrific. <clears throat> so this is the only thing I decided is totally worth uh, the money, you know, because it works. And, you know, I know it's good to, like, unplug sometimes and, like, disconnect and stuff. Um, but, you know, not having a uh, cell phone service sometimes could mean life and death. So I, uh, you know, I like to stay in touch with friends and family. And in case of an emergency, I always make sure I have at least one bar of service. And it works terrific. I do recommend. Uh, it connects to uh, to this little cradle here. It connects to the cradle. The phone connects to the cradle, and uh, and then you you know you can hold the phone and talk and stuff. But um, look it up. It's a uh, cell phone booster by by we boost um it works really good uh yeah so i'm trying to think if i miss anything else um i don't think i did but just do keep in mind that i am going to be doing a lot more modifications to this vehicle like i mentioned I'm going to do the swing out hitch for the tire mount. I'm going to do some better tires. Although these were brand new. They got a lot of thread left in them. And they handle these roads just fine. But in the future, I'm going to change the tires. I'm going to do about two inch lift on here. And I'm going to remove... I'm going to remove the front passenger seat to give me some more room inside and and see what else we do from there and go on many adventures for sure um if you guys have any questions uh any comments anything that you think i should do to improve this vehicle or to change or if you have any questions, period, just leave, you know drop a comment down below. There will be more videos on this, so you know if you're interested, be sure to subscribe because for sure there will be more videos on this vehicle and that I'm going to turn. Uh, well, I already turned it, but I'm going to further modify it into a micro camper. So there you have it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.